If only you could rewind real life. If only you had a second chance. If only. It takes just one split second to injure your spinal cord. One split second that will change your life forever. One little mistake that you will regret for the rest of your life. Spinal cord injury has devastating effects on the physical, mental, social, sexual and vocational lives of the injured. Yet, they still have the potential to lead productive lives. It isn't always bad luck that causes spinal cord injuries. In many cases, it is carelessness, recklessness, ignorance, bad decisions. Most spinal cord injuries can be prevented. The common saying is, prevention is better than cure. But in fact, where a spinal cord injury is concerned, prevention is cure. It is absolutely essential for everyone to be aware of and follow simple preventive measures. We all owe it to ourselves, our families and our communities to empower ourselves with knowledge and stay safe. It is time to fulfill our responsibilities as a civilized society and help all citizens of the world stay safe and fulfill their potential. Today we have powerful communication tools that can be utilized to reach out and impart education to people in the remotest areas of the world. The five most common causes of spinal cord injury are motor vehicle crashes, falls, diving accidents, sports and recreational activities, and violence. The general public must be made aware of safety rules. Motor vehicle crashes. Always wear a seat belt in a car, both in the front and rear seats, and wear helmets on motorbikes or scooters. Don't exceed the speed limit. Avoid distractions while driving. Don't talk on the phone, send or read text messages or emails. Do not read, eat or listen to loud music. Never drive while under the influence of drugs or alcohol or ride as a passenger with anyone else who is under the influence of any substance. Children less than 12 years generally should not be allowed to sit on the front seat and should be properly restrained in the back seat. Some countries recommend a limit of 8 years or a minimum height of 4 feet 9 inches or 1.44 meters. Children who have outgrown child safety seats should be properly secured in a booster seat until they are at least 8 years old. Falls in the home Remove hazards, clutter and items that could trip you in the home. Keep things where they can be reached easily. Use secure ladders if possible. Keep an eye on toddlers near railings, stairs and ladders. Be careful on stairs and wet surfaces. Ensure good lighting, foothold and railings on stairs. Ensure non-slippery surfaces or mats in bathrooms and kitchens. Falls outdoors. Don't climb trees without safety precautions. Avoid climbing hills, mountains or cliff sides without proper safety gear. Use safety precautions like safety ropes or straps 
when climbing or trekking. Wear a safety harness while climbing an electricity pole. Do not overload bullock carts, tractors, buses, trucks, trains and other vehicles while travelling. Take extra precaution within construction sites, near walls or unprotected wells. Optimize strength and balance. Use eyeglasses if necessary. Follow signs of danger. Fall of load from heights. Always secure a load with a rope or safety harness when climbing a height. Construction sites should be properly secured to avoid debris falling below. Avoid walking near construction sites. Be aware of landslide prone areas while moving around hilly terrain. Billboards should be properly secured. Maintain safe distance from any activity happening at a height. Diving accidents Feet first, first time, every day. If you dive head first and hit the water with enough force or at the wrong angle, you can break your neck and become paralyzed for life. You don't really have to hit the bottom. Never dive into an above ground pool. Never drink and dive. Sports and Recreation Follow the rules of the games. Wear proper safety gear when playing sports. Never block, hit or tackle a player with the top of your helmet and never slide head first. Be careful when surfing. People have broken their necks just diving head first into waves. Violence Violence is one of the most significant public safety problems. Yet, violence can be prevented. Control the use and abuse of alcohol and illegal drugs. Restrict firearm sale and possession. Keep guns and knives in a safe locked place when not in use. Encourage legislation to ensure gun manufacturers embed safety lock features in guns to prevent use by non-registered persons. Promote harmony in family relationships between children, parents and caregivers. Advocate for gender equality and respect for women. Challenge cultural and social practices that promote violence. General Rules of Safety Never overestimate your ability or underestimate a risk. Never try to impress others with false bravado. Do not go scuba diving or climbing alone. Always carry emergency medical supplies, a torch and a mobile phone. When out partying with friends, always have a designated driver. Don't get involved in street fights and brawls. We must remember we are all in this together. Each one of us is responsible for bringing in a change in the culture and mindset of people to keep ourselves, our families, our communities 
safe. If we can all play our part, we can look forward to a day when spinal cord injuries will be a rarity, when people will no longer suffer from the tragedy of a preventable injury, when people will be able to lead a joyful, productive life in a safer, happier environment. Be aware, be alert, be safe. You can prevent spinal injury.